What's up guys, it's Hudson here from Hudson Tech for you guys a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my audio equipment and how I use it. Um, if you guys uh, have seen my setup video, I did show you guys kind of everything in a in a bit of a like more of a rushed sort of this is what my setup looks like, but I want to go in depth more on the audio equipment today. Uh, you guys seem pretty interested on that when I'm doing my live stream and stuff like that, like how does it look like, uh, you know, what programs are you using, stuff like that. So I thought I would show you guys that today. Um, and if you guys would like to see anything else like this, like how I use my monitors or, you know, how something else is used in my in my videos or whatever, link, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. Uh, or I'd definitely be down to do more stuff like this. And uh, links in the description to all of the audio stuff. If you guys are curious, uh, you can find out pricing and more discussion down there. Um, details and stuff like that so links in the description to that and uh, the rest of the stuff uh, we can talk about in the comments so anyways I'm gonna jump into it and this is my audio equipment okay guys so the first thing that you've probably seen already is the mic boom arm um, and this is the Rode PSA 1 boom arm and the really cool thing about it is the different types of movement that it can give you so as you can see I can sort of position it however I like I mean, it's very easy because it's spring-loaded, um, so I can move it kind of all over and stuff like that, which makes it uh, really easy to have multiple monitors and stuff because if, even if I'm looking over at this one, I can move the mic all the way over here um, and still be able to use it that way. So it's very nice to have a boom arm like this. Um, there are different types of mounts that are just in one position and stuff like that, which can be really good for different situations. But in my specific purpose, the Rode PSA-1 is great. Um, and it also has this cable management, uh, which allows me to, to route the XLR cable, which we'll get to in a second, um, around it, which is really nice. Um, and it's mounted to the glass desk here. Uh, it's got a little bit of padding underneath it um, and some friction some friction padding that way it doesn't scratch the desk um, and then as you can see it's just kind of like a clamp uh, down here which allows it to mount to the glass desk it did come with a permanent one if you'd like to like drill a hole in your wooden desk or whatever and mount it that way uh, you can definitely do that um, but obviously you can't drill through glass without cracking it so this one works good and it comes with both of those options so you have those available to you um, now moving along to the microphone so We've got a couple different pieces here, we'll get to each one. So the first thing I guess is the shock mount, as you guys can see here. Uh, this is the shock mount, this uh, silver piece here. Uh, and basically what this does is it you know, absorbs all of the shock or the uh, vibrations or whatever going through the arm when I'm moving it or whatever uh, so that it doesn't affect the sound of the microphone um, and that way it will just you know, sound uh, less like you're jostling around a microphone and, and more kind of like it's free floating, which is cool uh, the shock mount does a pretty good job of that this one is the I believe the Samson PO one uh, but like I said links in the description so if you guys are curious about this one specifically there'll be a link down there there's a lot of different ones that work for these types of microphones but I do really like the look of this I think it's really cool it's kind of like a star pattern or whatever and it's worked very well it's something easy to grab onto um, it's pretty durable it's a all metal construction aside from obviously the um, the shock absorbent paracord or whatever this is um, and as you can see you know moving this around it uh, just sort of like absorbs that so that's kind of cool um, and that's what's holding the microphone actually in place which mounts to the uh, the Rode PSA 1 all right, and the next thing that we have is actually the microphone itself. So this is an Audio-Technica AT2035 condenser microphone. Uh, it looks very similar to the 2020, uh, but this one is specifically a condenser microphone. Um, it's got more of a uh, radio broadcast quality to it, um, and it's just omnidirectional, or excuse me, it's just um, it's a cardioid pattern or condenser, so that way when you're just talking into it, um, it only comes through the one side. So anything behind it is not going to be able to pick up, uh, which is nice, and I like that. You know, that way I'm using my keyboard or whatever, mechanical keyboard, you're not able to pick it up as well. Um, and it's just more focused on the voice. So I'm really happy with this microphone. Um, it's, it's done a really good job for me uh, personally. Um, obviously, there's a lot better uh, quality ones like, uh, you know, like a Shure SM7B or um, some editor's keys, uh, ones that I'm not familiar with their model numbers. And of course, better ones. But um, this one's a really good price, uh, you know, for what it's delivering. I've I've enjoyed it. It's done a pretty good job. You know, it's a step up from the 2020. Um, the 2020 has an XLR version, but like I said, this is just a condenser microphone, um, and that way you're going to be able to get that more deep and you know. Um, 
I guess, yeah, like radio broadcast quality uh, sound from it, which is pretty cool, um, and I've been pretty happy with it. So it's worked uh, very well for me. And then, like I, like you guys saw earlier, it's got this uh, windsock over it, which makes it makes it look kind of funny. Um, and it looks a lot smaller when you take it off, um, but this thing's done awesome. And the reason I have a windsock versus a um, or a windscreen or whatever versus a pop filter is because this way I don't have to position the pop filter when I'm moving around the boom arm. Normally, because I've had experience with that in the past, when you move the boom arm, the pop filter will drift over to one side or whatever because it's mounted to the boom arm. So this just makes it easier. That way, I can just move it around as quick as I want, and it's not going to have to be re positioned in any way. So it's done a really good job. It works well, um, you know, just reducing those P's and B's and any sounds like that. And even if you were to hit the microphone or something like that, it wouldn't bother um, it as much. So I like that a lot. It's done a pretty good job uh, versus a um, versus a pop filter uh, specifically, but there's lots of different options and stuff that you can work with. So that's that setup completely. And then, like I said, this is an XLR microphone. So the XLR cable is going to leave the microphone and travel around, goes behind my setup, and then it goes all the way to that guy, which is a Scarlett uh, Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface. And you can see as I'm talking into it, that left knob is actually uh, flashing green. Uh, so that's just going to be a clipping monitor. So if I were to talk very loud into it, um, then it would show a orange or red um, signal, which means that you are clipping, which is pretty cool. So this uh, is an audio interface. Essentially what this does is it takes the XLR signal and uh, provides power to the microphone if it needs it. So, uh, for instance, a 48 volt uh, phantom power for this microphone, which it does require, um, as well as it's going to take that XLR signal or the quarter inch, um, si uh, the quarter inch um, instrument signal. Excuse me, sorry, uh, because you are able to hook up instruments to this as well, um, and then it's going to transfer it to a USB uh, signal to your computer. So. Uh, you can have up to two different microphones hooked in at once or two instruments, which is pretty neat. Uh, you can change the gain on either one, uh, which is pretty cool. They have a 2i4 um, and I believe even higher versions than this. This is the 2i2, so you're able to hook up two things at once. Um, and then it has direct monitoring through your headphones, so a quarter inch output here um, and stuff like that. But if you guys want to see more of a full review on this, there's lots of videos uh, that know you know a lot more than I do about it. I just know that it works. It does a good job at some of the basics. Um, things that it's able to do. Um, uh, like I said, though, you're able to do a line in uh, or an instrument, so that switch is what switches it there. See, so you can plug a quarter inch um, line right into it, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's really nice. Uh, it's got a lot of different functionality. If you were to do a podcast or something with two different microphones, this would work just fine. Um, and so um, I've been pretty happy with it uh, for the most part. I haven't had any issues or anything. It looks really nice as well. It's just pretty clean um, and it gets the job done. So that's that guy, and then, like I said, it just goes right to a USB into my computer, which is right there, and then from there, um, I'm able to use XSplit, uh, which you guys are getting a pretty bad glare from my softbox, excuse me. I'm able to use XSplit uh, to take that sound um, and uh, broadcast it to you guys. So that's pretty much that, and uh, that's the audio setup. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys have any more questions or anything that I may be able to answer, this uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'd try I'd be happy to try and answer those for you guys um, I'm not an audio file so I don't know everything there is to know uh, but I do know that some of the basics and stuff so it works really well I'm pretty happy with what I've got and uh, that's that so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys in the next video peace out